Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the move out walk through here. 155 Pinehurst. Uh, first thing that I notice is, is the yard has not been cut. Uh, probably not in the last week or so. I don't know if the tenant had. Um, the grass is not Bermuda. It's not Bermuda yeah, grass. It's more of a winter rye or a vescue or a zoysia grass. So the grass has been changed, which is probably the first time I've seen that happen, but it was Bermuda when the tenant moved in. And they've changed it on all the way basically property line to property line. At a bare minimum of the front. Um, the shrubbery has not been that much, hasn't been maintained that well. Could have been cut back a little bit more. A lot of weeds in the flower bed. A lot of weeds going into the shrubbery. Um, also, you know, left hose behind, some tools behind. There is an abundance of left behind basically trash uh, inside the garage. That is the door going from the garage into the house. We're actually going to go uh, through the front door. But I'll just go ahead and note there are quite a few scuff marks uh, and just absolute no care taken uh, in the garage on the walls or the floor clean up basically. All right, so let's go ahead and walk to the front door. Some more weeds growing into the concrete. Uh, walking into the front door, you can see immediately a pretty deep scuff there. The floors have just multiple scuff marks throughout the floor. This goes all the way around for probably around 10 to 15 feet. And actually in some case leads all the way into the master bedroom as I walk on this floor I can see actually I see the dust coming up from the bottom of it as I stomp on it but this floor is buckled it must have gotten wet at one time um, <clears throat> somebody's put duct tape across the carpet where the wood floor meets the threshold here at the bottom of this uh, door going into the master. This is the half bath downstairs. There's discoloration in the sink. That's probably just toothpaste. Uh, that is not toothpaste. Uh, multiple holes where stuff has been hanging on the walls in here. And then something metal was left in that corner causing a rust spot on the tile. All right. This is the laundry room. This light does not work. I have flipped the switch multiple times. It probably just needs another bulb. I don't know how much you can see, but uh, again, they just pulled the washer and dryer out of here and that is all lint, dirt, um, and anything else you can imagine in that little area. And then here's like a broom storage closet and it is full of uh, chemicals, brooms, mops, um, none of which probably got used during the cleanup. And of course, that's the door going back out into the garage. So going back into the master, uh, it appears somebody tried to paint this room, but um, they did not cut in very well. Uh, and the color they used is kind of a pretty strong yellow and they didn't roll out the walls very well. It looks like they didn't use a brush to do any of the cut in with uh, as well as just one thin coat quickly walk away from type scenario. Um, I don't know what the film is on the doors if they were supposed to be there in the first place, but uh, if somebody put it on there, it would need to be cleaned off. Uh, if it was originally a frost on this glass, somebody has scratched it up and in some cases stuck these little things that there's no way I could pull them off. I might be able to prime off with like a razor blade or something of that nature. Um, 
Also, let me just, there's a, there's an area right here uh, where I think you would usually put your TV inset for the bedroom. But just pointing out again, the cut in around the plugs. And this is probably the original color. And they may have even tried to do this with a spray gun or something. I mean, it's just super hodgepodge, not finished, nice try type paint job. And nice try is an overstatement. They also hit it on the ceiling in multiple places. Actually, they rolled the roller all the way up into the popcorn ceiling all the way around here. So that also would have to be addressed. Going into this sunroom slash office, I am seeing some kind of red dye in the carpet. I couldn't imagine what that is. Multiple marks throughout the wall all the way around. Uh, a hole in the screen on this window that faces the neighbor's house. This is just simply child's drawing on the wall. So a kid just sat here with a pencil or a crayon or something and just drew on the wall in that area. And now that I'm looking for that kind of stuff, You'll see it again here. Those are just scuff marks. That's actually pencil again, drawing around. The house probably needs to be repainted completely at this point. Um, somebody tried to add an extra jack in this wall down low for either cable or high-speed internet and caused it to have an additional hole there. Unless, Okay, that's just actually flopping. That could probably be spun around and screwed back into place. Scuff mark where a couch or something was mounted more than likely all the way across this wall. A little smiley face done in pencil. The trim also scuffed up, chipped up, so on and so forth. Um, sorry, that was goofy. Actually, truly goofy. The TV mount was there prior to the tenant move in, uh, but it looks like it's gone through an extra little bit of cutting and scratching with people trying to mount televisions up there. The bookcase basically is just more dirty than anything else. All the window seals are dirty, uh, including a few places that got road on. The blinds in this particular room seem to be in relatively decent shape. I haven't tried to raise or lower them. This leads us into the kitchen where the floor is basically just dirty. More scuff marks on the walls here. The blind may or may not be able to be straightened out over the kitchen window. Uh, countertops are in pretty decent shape. For the exception of this, anytime I see the color red, it kind of makes me think that we can't get it out of the counter. This is just a pot of grease from a cooker and more stains going out through the countertops. The microwave is busted. Um, should have had another piece of glass right here. I'm actually feeling the screen between the microwave and I can see the broken glass parts and black duct tape trying to hold the remaining busted parts of the glass into place. So that is a absolute must replace. And that might be a one unit scenario. So, uh, yeah, it probably is, so that's definitely something that needs to be replaced. The pantry, <clears throat> just dirt, filth, whatever on the floor. Uh, shelves need to be wiped out or maybe that paper removed. Um, going back towards the dining room. Um, front door, exceptionally dirty, got some stainage all around there. Yeah, the stains at the bottom of the floor where the threshold is 
Also marks throughout the wall. Something was hanging here at one time. That's my phone ringing. I usually turn that off while I'm shooting videos. But this all needs to be cleaned up as well. Through here. Um, this is tape. Probably somebody tried to hang some decorations up here because I can see tape at the top of the post and a pin back here. Tape at the top of the door here as well in this arch. More tape stuck to the paint. More tape stuck at the top of the arch. Uh, I'm even seeing tape here. But throughout the dining room, of course, uh, more marks on the wall. Multiple, multiple pins, push pins like this, all through here. Marks against the wall, a table that was just absolutely abandoned and left behind. Um, let's go ahead and start moving up the staircase, I guess. All right. Scuff marks throughout here, stairs with a lot of heavy traffic on them. Just, you know, loose change, dirt, trash little dust bunnies and stuff all the way up here. Uh, lots of marks down the rail. <clears throat> Those are more of uh, somebody taking like a pen or a pencil, more than likely a child. Um, scuff marks through here, more pen pencil marks drawn onto the paint. Um, return here is filthy, definitely needs to be looked at and taken off and cleaned. Paint over the top of the light switches, pin marks, hole in the sheetrock indention there. More markers, more pen or uh, pencil mark. Shelf in here. Hope that's not just straight blood and some kind of medicine instead. Uh, but. Then marks all over the paint here. Going through the bedroom, the carpet has multiple stains, heavy wear and tear. The grid for the return air right there is filthy. And then this is just more artwork by a smaller child and stains on the walls throughout this room red stains in the carpet again as we know that kind of stuff usually doesn't come out a lot more drawings over here of a small child in the room paint all around the switches where somebody tried to paint this room and that makes me look up to see how bad they took the paint and touched it all through the uh, top where the popcorn ceiling is. So that is a whole nother issue to try to get fixed. Uh, yeah, I see, yeah, the paint on the trim too. I mean, this is definitely a do-it-yourselfer type scenario. And, uh, and you can see it all over the top of the baseboard, all the way through. All right, and that's the closet, which is probably one of the better rooms in this house at this point. But again, big marks at the ceiling where they just rolled and let the uh, roller touch the ceiling at the top. And this is why we don't, and look at the trim up here on the door jam. This is why we generally don't ever let a tenant do their own painting. Um, so here's another picture. I'm gonna go with Frankenstein. This is probably done in October, right around uh, Halloween. But there's just drawings throughout the house. Um, to any potential parents out there, they still make paper. You could go ahead and let your children use that if you wanted to, it's an option. Um, this room has some blue marker on it or blue paint. Uh, also blue on the inside of this. Um, Wanna give a shout out to uh, Lily and Keela. Kayla, um, 
little small prints on the wall here inside the closet and more red marker in a couple of places also. That is just a huge spider web that is turned into a birthing station. All right, again, screens over here. Uh, that screen's definitely tore up. This one has a couple of more holes in it and then some kind of glue residue on that window pane. This should be going into the attic space. And in here, let me see if I can get a light to turn on. No. Light's not going to turn on, but there's like extra paint that was originally left with the house. There's a window pane in here. Uh, some small child's little toys or clothes or materials left in the floor here. That'll all have to be cleaned up as well. <clears throat> Again, the return airs are filthy. They could have uh, done something with that. Floor's got dust bunnies all through here. The countertop in the bathroom has stains on those. This probably was a towel bar at one time, uh, but it got tore up and taken down. The bathtub, that, I don't even know why that's there, because they actually have one up there that we probably haven't installed, but the old one is there. Bottom of the tub's dirty, needs to be looked at. This shower bar has obviously gotten pulled away. They've just kind of pushed it back into place to make it look like it's still there, but it's physically there, but not adhered to the sheet rock or any type of a stuff. That is a chip in the steel tub. Um, so, that would have to be looked at and replaced. I'm not gonna open that toilet. Don't have that level of courage. Uh, light fixtures got some discoloration in the fixture, uh, probably because it's never been wiped down. Uh, there is a couple of stains up in this part of the bathroom upstairs. I'm not sure exactly what that was. Again, more red marker type paint stuff on the walls. Um, again, more of these push pins um, throughout another area. And then we're back to more drawings on the wall with pencil, pen, crayon, whatever. This actually runs the extent, <laughs> the entire length of this hallway all the way down. So, I mean, somebody just, somebody took some time to just sit here and crawl through and, and do these drawings. And then we've got her. This is probably one of the better drawings uh, on the wall. And then this has got scuff marks, pin marks. That's actually a groove cut into the sheetrock with something, more pencil marks. And then writing on the door, it says, hold on, stop. Um, and then we've got hash marks going up the side. Looks like, um, like you would uh, put marks on there showing how tall somebody got during the time of their growing up. But this tenant was only here for about two years. So I'm thinking the jumps, that's, that's like a foot, foot and a half. That's a little accelerated growth. More marks on the door with pen, <clears throat> marker, Sharpie. Uh, definitely another Sharpie marker on this one. <clears throat> the door jam also with marker and pencil. The door, because the door stop has been removed, has now punctured a hole into the sheetrock wall. Um, 
some stains over here in the corner. The window seal has now also in this particular room been done in red, blue, green marker. Another screen that has been tore out right here. Um, multiple holes, multiple stains throughout this bedroom as well. <clears throat> I'm sure it's going to show up on the camera, but you can see like there's more marker stains on the walls. Even from eight to 10 feet away, you can still see the big marks on the wall over there. Cable ran through the floor. Another harsh stain in the carpet up here. So purple marker on the back of this door. Couldn't imagine what caused that stain. This is the return air. This looks like most of them, but just to give you an idea what we're talking about here, that's on the return airs. <clears throat> just a Swiffer, maybe every couple of months would change your breathing habits. Uh, in a house, <clears throat> there's your big green marker, more big scuff marks, more of the dreaded, everything gets hung with a little push pin type thing. More marks in the door jam here. This is the last room upstairs, I believe. The door is filthy, more marks. Walk in here, there's loose change, stains in the carpet, more red stains over here, blue marker, pencil, um, scuff marks all through the walls, stains from something, I don't know. Uh, just splattered all over the wall in this section. This, another stain and scuff marks throughout the wall. Carpet, complete discoloration in multiple spots. These are like where watercolors, crayons, something has just gotten on the carpet. I've seen it in probably 18 to 24 different spots throughout the house. <clears throat> Another one of the screens kind of tore up at the bottom there. That's more harsh type stains in the carpet. This carpet, this carpet would have to be replaced. There's just, I'm to the point now it's, it's, I'm thinking it just couldn't be rescued at this point. Um, stains throughout here, return air. Something got drilled in here pretty heavy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what it could have been. More red marker drawings. Going into this closet, which is more scuff marks throughout here and pencil marks inside the door. So basically I would say, basically I would say there's not a wall or a door or a piece of trim in this entire house that should not be completely painted. Uh, I've got the camera turned around now. Sandra's trying to hide from me. <laughs> Sandra's been walking with me because she's, she's pointing out stuff as I miss it because it's just so overwhelming that we can't see it all. Oh, I don't even want to go in this attic. But you know what? Hold the camera. What I'm thinking is possible. Is there a light switch to turn on? No. It looks like it's all rid of home. The reason, you know what? I'm betting there's nothing in the attic because I feel like pulling down these stairs would have caused effort. And, <laughs> <laughs> and if anybody's gonna put any forth any effort, it's really not happening around here. But I was wrong a little. So there's like a lampshade up here, a little bit of trash, pretty minor. I think that's a suitcase over there in the corner. And that is a fan, a heater, a unused brand new air filter uh, that's still in its little bag. The hot water heater is there. And I'm sure the furnaces, yeah, furnaces are over here. So, um, attic by comparison, not that bad of shape. Air filters, probably filthy but I can tell that by just the return airs. I mean, 
that's just how that is. All right, here we go. All right, so we pretty much covered the entire house, except for the ledge that you can see from up here that when the birthday balloons get away, that's where they go to die. All right, so that's it. That is the walkthrough for 155 um, Pinehurst. And just the last thing as I come to the bottom of the stairs, I still see more and more scuff marks, more red dye of some form. And then this chunk that looks like it got hit with a heavy piece of furniture or something that is knocked off um, the sheetrock off of the uh, corner bead. All right, that's it. Thank y'all. All right, let's go ahead and just add the backyard to the walkthrough here as soon as you come out the back door. Um, I don't know what those little plastic panels are. Some cap blocks of cement. That's part of a car jack. Got a nice little hedge for semi-privacy back here. Weeds in the backyard. Um, weeds throughout the flower bed. And then the back of the home here. Uh, and this house does face out to the uh, fairway of the golf course. And that's the tee box right over there. All right, that's it. What? I'm sorry. Sandra says we missed something. <coughs> All right, so obviously due to exposure on the house, and this will be the one thing I wouldn't hold the tenant liable for, uh, is rotten wood on this back door jam. This probably needs to be uh, replaced and repainted back. Just take the brick mold off and uh, re repaint this door jam. And that should be about it. All right. Thank you all very much.